Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in today. We appreciate all of our viewers and subscribers and we know you'll all love this week's feature car. We recently met owner Fred Rank and his stunning 1960 Cadillac convertible at a show. This car looks great from all angles and is certainly something that most enthusiasts don't get to see on a regular basis. But thanks to Fred, we recently spent some time with him and his breathtaking Eldorado Baritz. Let us know in the comments what you think about this magnificent motor car from a bygone era. Leave a like and share this video with your friends. Now. Let's go for a ride. Okay, my name is Fred Rank. I own a 1960 Eldorado Biarritz Cadillac. I've had it since 2008. I took a car consultant, Dave Duby, from our Cadillac Club here in Phoenix. We flew to Las Vegas over uh, on the eye, what the bear of the red eye actually, to get it before it was shipped to uh, Annapolis, Maryland, on a car hauler. And I uh, bought it in front of the Flamingo Hotel, which is kind of interesting. It looked terrible. It had old gas in it. We took it off the, the car hauler. S luckily, it started. I don't know why we even took it off. But uh, so we bought the car, and at that time, the exchange rate was favoring the Europeans. So we were competing uh, with them for for the American classic cars. And luckily, I got it anyway. And I was asked the car consultant. I said, "Wait a minute! I'm sending thousands of dollars to this guy in Annapolis, Maryland. I only know him from Adam." And I don't have the title. He said, don't worry. He says, call him. So he called him. Mark Pryor, I think his name was. He says, listen, I'll send it to you. I'll FedEx it to you. Besides, you have the car. <laughs> Which barely ran, actually. That's what they are, you know. But they were, they're were high demand. And we've done a lot to the car, actually, since then. And, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a, a, a lot of work just to get it from... Las Vegas here, you know, car haulers and all that, and then get it fixed so it was running in the meantime. So it's a 390, uh, 345 horse, uh, three barrel carburetor, three two barrels. Uh, it's the original engine. We overhauled the engine a few years ago with a special uh, person who knows, knows it. In fact, the guy worked on Ferraris for 15 years. He says, don't worry, I know what I'm doing with engines. So I went over there and when he took the engine out of the car at his garage, and then he would start, start taking it apart. He says, I don't know how this car ran. <laughs> they got the wrong parts in here. <laughs> so anyway, now it's it's where it should be. And, you know, you can take it on the freeway and go 75, 80, and no problem at all. And, it's, and it's, the alignment's excellent. Yeah, we had one in, I'm from Wisconsin, and we had a neighbor who um, was a widow of a local Cadillac dealer in Milwaukee, KVAM Cadillac, and... Uh, we, uh, she got a new car uh, every two years from Detroit, obviously. She's got a special deal because she's a widow of a Cadillac dealer. So we ended up buying one of her cars, which was nice. It was a 60 Coupe de Ville, gold, with all the, the trim in it. I can still remember the smell of the leather. It's excellent, you know. It's just something you never forget. And that establishes a virus in your body, which you can't get rid of, no matter how many vaccines you take. <laughs> You're stuck with the Cadillac virus, and that's what happened, and that's what everybody in the Cadillac club seems to have, or, or we wouldn't be in the club. We got to know her pretty well. She flew me down to uh, Florida to help her drive it back from Sarasota to Milwaukee one summer when it, when it got too hot in Florida, obviously. They were snowbirds. She was a snowbird. And they were doing the, the trailer park stuff then back in the 60s. She gave me the keys to the car. She says, well, if you want to take the Coupe de Ville to the to the beach go ahead and I'm 17 years old I'll do that <laughs> of course I ran into a couple of rainstorms but it was fun wow. it was fun so that's how you get established I don't remember how many times we stopped for gas on the way back that's a 1500 mile trip from Sarasota to Milwaukee and 
Uh, we, we stopped a couple of nights, obviously. But I don't remember how many times we stopped for gas because the thing when he gets, I mean, I'm getting 13 on it now. So maybe, uh, maybe it did better. The Coupe de Ville probably had the four barrel, which was much more efficient than the three two barrels. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just, I'm guessing. Well, the paint, we, we just uh, managed to uh, use a three-step, 3M process with, with drills and buffers and got the original back. It was repainted in 92. I got a book on it from the restorer who worked on it in 92. book is like four inches thick. I mean, it's, it's insane. <laughs> it's heavy, too. And I got the pictures of it, which was interesting. It was done in uh, Las Vegas, Pahrumpf, Nevada, which is north of Las Vegas. So it's, uh, it's the, I'm the fourth owner. The car actually sat in, in a garage in Kansas City for 25 years. So that, that's the sad part of it. And there's pictures of it coming out of that garage. And it was so full of dust and dirt from Kansas, you know, prairie dirt, whatever. And the, the widow of the guy that owned it wanted to take it to the junkyard. And then the nephew said, no, 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 don't do that. I'll, I'll restore that car. But you got to give it to me for nothing. So she says, I'll give it to you for nothing. But when you're done, you got to take me down Las Vegas Boulevard with the top down, <laughs> which he did. <laughs> kind of a neat story. So, uh, you know, because that's where that car belongs, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's a, like an Elvis car, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's that's the deal. We we love the car. Wow, what a car. And when you think that when new, it would have set a buyer back about $7,400. It's no wonder these cars were built to impress. Tell us what you think of Fred's stunning Baritz. We'd like to again thank Fred for his time so we could share this beauty with you, our viewers and subscribers. And thanks for watching. Join us again next week as we bring you another one-of-a-kind auto. This time, it's a cool 1946 Mercury station wagon also commonly called a Woody. This one's been tastefully modified and is enjoyed quite often by its owner and builder. You won't want to miss it. See you next week, and remember, please be careful out there.